fingers are plain how he is smiling how her beautiful his eyes his nose like they're very beautiful very beautiful attracting everyone and yes namami nandana nandana namami His Bindabin is also cut. His everything. His eyes are cut crooked. Everything is crooked in Bindabin, so he has become. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, you should see, if he will come in her, he will never come out. Because he is cut crooked. <laughs> very, very hard to cut. So, uh, listen to the gopis, what they are telling? Don't hear the Hari Katha no, no, of Krishna, past times of Krishna. And don't take the name of Krishna. Otherwise you will fall in his trap and he will go there and he will never come. And sing this. Tribhanga Deva So many alankars, what ornaments of flowers here also in neck, here in gala, bala, chudi, and by janti mala up to. But a very beautiful thing is that he has cost of money and like. Krishna, uh, Srimati Radhika is beloved to Krishna, so Kaustub also, he has some beloved things. And what is Shyamanta? Where is Shyamanta? Srimati <laughs> Radhika. So he is so much friendship as between Krishna and Srimati Radhika. So Kaustub has also friendship with Shyamanta. All these things. And you sing, you'll be so glad to see. Sing all these things, go on doing. Shugandhayanga saura And he told, oh, why you don't sing the prayer of Srimati Radhika? I am not satisfied by this. I will be satisfied by that. So you should begin. Munindra Vrindavandhite Appeared at once. <coughs> that, that we are satisfied. We are satisfied. But yet, 
to his once more. What must one more? That when we are in conjugal, in one form, that is Sachinandan form. You have not done any prayer for it. So, you should do like this. Gauranga Bodhite Follow me and we shall go to Nagatvi. Ganges is flowing. Everywhere in the middle Nagatvi, doing like this. And it has one Navadi has become nine nine times. Antadi, Shimandi, Kodrumdi, Matadi, Koldi. Rudradi, Prithudi, Janudi, Matramdi, and this nine times. But island was one and is one. But divided by Ganga. Why? She is calling. Indian notion is called. Oh, come on, Ganga, come down. But Ganga has come from Himalaya coming. And when she came in, Gautham, she forgets it. And he wants that I should be always in Navadi. So he is crooked. No king. Don't want to leave it. So always there. So come on there. And in the middle we will go to Mayapur Antarvi, where Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came from the home of And he is a little boy there. And dancing and Means so much things, and we will go and we will see. But
Do we have to? Gopi Jasoda is a very simple Gopi. Not Kurga. Nothing. He wants to give everything for Krishna. Always serving, always in that. He wants to take Krishna inside, yeah, in heart. Always, always. If he grow, Krishna goes to cow herding, she becomes so worried, so so problems. How to pass the days? She cannot. She cannot. So she got benediction from Krishna, who was the giving all vimukti. I had explained vimukti. No? Brahma has not taken this. Bhava, Shankar not taken. Sri, never. So easily we can serve Krishna. To whom Krishna? Jasoda. As Jasoda is affectionate and she is so, having so mercy, Vasanya Bhava. So Krishna, Jasoda Nandan is so merciful. Not Devi Nandan. He is something of another type. He wants opulence. But Krishna never wants. Krishna is as simple as his mother. If anyone you will want, Jasoda will. At once. So Jasoda Nandan. The shame like Jasoda. Prabhu told him, oh, very, very, very hard thing you have to. But I used to tell, if anything more, Rāyapahe Kanta Bhav, Prem Shadrasha. He told that uh, these are all friends. None tell. He has told before that Shadrasha, Sarva Shadrasha, Sarva Shadrasha, but here he is telling not Sadha Shadha. He is tell, telling Prema Shadha Shadha. Huh? It can be achieved by Prem. What? He, he has told before that by all these things he will have Prem. But now he is praying, telling that the Kant Bhav is Prema Shadha Shadha. Not ordinary. It is the essence of all the affection and praying. But Kantubhav. What is Kantubhav? There is a husband and wife. This is Swakiya Bhav. It is called Swakiya. Swakiya like servant and husband and wife. Like always serving husband. She is like Prabhu and she is like Dash. Everything becomes of her husband. She gives everything, he not keeps anything for her. Oh, my husband is master of all. <coughs> and he treats him not as the equals. He will do what he wants. He will sometimes consult our no necessity to consult. He can do against her wife. Ram Chandra did. He told that, yo, go out of my palace. This is my palace. And she that was not doing Weeping and weeping, she went away. But can Krishna to tell Srimati? She will reply at once. I am not in your home. Where is your home? I am here in my Kuni. This is my Vandavan. My, my. You can go. At <laughs> once <laughs> walk. And she will tell that I will not speak with you now. 
I want to have any friendship with any black bees and anything black, I do. I will color my hair with golden color. <laughs> Everything, I will not take a sari with and black. I may color my eyes also. <laughs> so, Kashmir, no, no, you should not do like this. I will never do like this, what you don't want. This is Kantabhav, controlled by Gopis Krishna. Love is such a thing that he controls Srimati Radhika and Krishna both. His prem is superior, so it is prayuja. If prem is there, then all will be controlled. Krishna and Radhika and Gopis and all. Prem such is a thing that it makes dance to Krishna. It makes dance to Radhika, all Gopis, and himself he dances and make dance. If you have a little bit of pain here, then it will also make you dance. Satan Mahaprabhu dancing, dancing here and there, and making dance all. He was controlled by pain. That is, that pain was Mahabhava of Srimati Radhika pain. If Krishna has come alone, he was like Vrindavan, like Varka, but he came in the two modes, Radhika and Krishna. So Kant Bhav is a Prem Shardhasa. Why? Why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told? You can give an example from any epics, Srimad Bhagavatam especially. Oh, want to hear? Nayan siyo ang un nitan tarate prasada satyo sitan nani lagand ruchan kuto anya rasot sabe asya puja dandya grihi takanta labdha si sanjya utgat Then Mahaprabhu says, go on. There is something lacking in mother Vasalya Bhav. But there is also one. Not so broad and so high like Dasya Bhav, like Shakha Bhav. One is coming. So one is there, but very thin. And not so high. But there is a ball. But that ball, if there is a mother and father, at first they were married in very young age. They had no child. Then wife used to love affection to her husband, and husband used to love fully. But when they grow, get grown to a child, then their love affection was divided into three or two for husband and for that child, mothers. Again, he gave a daughter. Then it was divided into three. Again she gave a child, again it was divided. And she will have to give attention for clearing houses, to cook, to broom, to nourish the child children, so many things. Now he has no time, she has no time to speak always with her husband. Husband wants that she should be with me, joking, playing, doing some things. But, oh, I have no time. There are so many children, I have to look after all these things. 
This is the case there. Jasoda has to look after his husband, Nanda Baba. He is to look after Krishna. He is to look after Baldev Prabhu, to Rohini Devi, and the, all the utensils of home. Also, so many cows are there. Sometimes he will have to take care of all them, to take milk, to make curd, to make and to, then Makkhan will come and from milk he will have to make so many good sandesh and rasa gulla for Krishna. You know Amrit Keli, very testful things, Krishna wants this, all this facing this. Sometimes he forgets Krishna, where is Krishna? Playing here, there and she is making preparation for <coughs> For, so he can forget Krishna for Krishna. <laughs> yes, he has so many duty. His affection is divided into so many things. <coughs> so he cannot give his whole attention now. So, fully, whole self, she cannot give. Also, there is something she cannot do. He cannot serve Krishna by whole senses and indriya means senses. Senses. And he is also sense. Senses are eleven. No, no, five are senses. Five senses. All are senses. Elevens. She cannot serve by elevens. Can. But gopis here, Kant bhav, whole shell, love attraction for Krishna, because they had no child. They had husband but outwardly, but to show mortal. But yes, you should, you should remind me. Huh, you should read, then I will explain. I'll read the verse in purple. Yes. <coughs> the Lord said, your statements are certainly getting better and better one after another, but surpassing all of them is another transcendental mellow, and you can speak of that as most sublime. So Ramananda Rai replied, conjugal attachment for Krishna is the topmost position in love of God. Purport. Yeah. In general, love of God is devoid of the intimacy of ownership. In the case of love and servitude, there is a want of confidentiality. There is a want of increased affection in the fraternal relationship. But when this affection increases in the paternal relationship, there is nonetheless a want of complete freedom. <coughs> However, when one becomes a conjugal lover of Krishna, everything lacking in the other relationships is completely manifest. Love of God lacks nothing in the conjugal stage. The summary of this verse <coughs> is that the paternal love of Godhead is certainly higher than fraternal, and the conjugal love is higher yet. It was when Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu requested Ramananda Rai to go further that he came to this point of conjugal relationship, which is the highest perfectional stage of transcendental love. This is Sadhasha. Means? Sadhasha means here? Prim Sadhasha. This is the goal of Chaitanya Chaitanya. This is the last goal and prominent goal of Srimad Bhagavatam, of yeah. Jayadev Chandita Vidya and same order. <coughs> now he explains how <coughs> that you should read this slope, not a slope, but the meaning of that is. 
When Lord Sri Krishna was dancing with the gopis in the Rasa Leela, the gopis were embraced by the arms of the Lord. This transcendental favor was never bestowed upon the goddess of fortune or the other consorts of the spiritual world. Indeed, never was such a thing even imagined by the most beautiful girls in the heavenly planets whose bodily luster and aroma resemble the lotus flower. And what to speak of worldly women who are very beautiful according to material estimation. Purport. This verse was spoken by Uddhav when he visited Sri Vrindavan to deliver a message from Krishna to the gopis. Uddhav remained in Vrindavan to observe the movements of the gopis there. When he saw the ecstatic love of Krishna, for Krishna in separation manifested by the gopis, he appreciated their supreme love and therefore expressed his feelings in this verse. He admitted that the fortune of the gopis could not be compared even to the fortune of the goddess of fortune to say nothing of the beautiful girls in the heavenly planets. That's the, that was the purple. Who had it? Uthav is praying to gopis, telling to gopis this verse. You are most beloved to Krishna. The heavenly Lakshmi, like Lakshmi of Amante, are so beautiful. But they cannot have the same mood like gopis. Krishna is not. Krishna, they cannot um, satisfy Krishna. And Krishna cannot be controlled by them. Again, uh, they, are so, they are so much beautiful, and fragrance is coming from whole body. <coughs> They became in hot season cool and in cool season warm. And so much fragrance there, more than Kevada and all others. But Krishna is not controlled. Also, not by the Lakshmi of Lakshmi or Satabhama. Once Krishna told to Rukmini Devi, he was the chief Mahishi, Mahishi. Mm. among all, among 16,108 Raj Mahishi, prince among them. So beautiful, so lovely affair. Krishna told that. I have done wrong. I have married you. I have taken you from your father. And here I am married to you. But I think that I am not able for you. You are so beautiful. I am so ugly. You are so golden color. And Rajkumari. I am black. I am not Rajkumar. Rajkumar. Prince. You have all qualities and myself. There is no room at all, no qualification. All the king's son, Rajkumar, wanted to marry you. And they were gathered between your father's village, kingdom. But I went and took you. But I know that very rare wants me. I am so Akinchan being him and my all lovers, those who love me, all poor. And even a rich person 
wants me, then he becomes poor. Give him, give him all wealth and everything. You see that Naraji is talking chant. Sukadeva Goswami has no even a cloth to, to cover his all these things. You know all all the others, those who want to love me. I make them beggar, the street beggar. So I know that you I'm not qualified for you. Also there are so many reasons. At once he was smiling, Krishna. And at once he began. It came out of my hand. And at once he fell tired on the ground. As if she is tired. Krishna took his four handed and took him in the arm. And he began to tell, Oh Rukmini, I was only joking. If I knew that you are so simple and you could not understand by joking, then I would have not done this joke. I am accustomed with Braja Prem. I used to joke gopis. And they also joking more to me. If I was telling that I have no concern with you. Then go peace with you. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> At once, immediately, not for tomorrow or for any moment. And Srimati Radha used to do. Sitting here, and Krishna is not. <laughs> Krishna was doing so much efforts that we should take Sulah Nama. Compromise. Compromise. <coughs> but no compromise. <laughs> then Krishna told that you are very involved to in the in things yes. to my this venue I am giving and also I am giving myself in your words. But she was not in mood to <coughs> compromise. She went to Javat at home. No compromise at all. <laughs> One day, two days. Weeping. She is also weeping so much. Why I did so? Mm -hmm. And Krishna is also weeping. How to do? Krishna took a base. This guy sings this guy sings like a Brahman boy. Mm -hmm. And he took Vedant here mm -hmm. and took an umbrella of, of Palm tree, palm tree. Palm tree. And he took a sandal and he took a tilak and became a prompting boy. As today, Sanskrit schools. And he went to Java and telling Bekchang Dehi, Bekchang Dehi means He saw that an old lady is coming and she was the mother-in-law of Srimati Radha. She has some atta, dal and other mm. things, fruits, vegetables. Mm. Krishna refused. I will not take it. I don't know whether you are a widow or not widow. Yeah. I take only these things from marriage ladies. This having done well. He at once went to the room and told Simati Radhika, Oh Bauma, Bauma, you know? Bahuma. Come at once. And a very beautiful, very why is there? And she is so shining face. And if he will not give alm to him, then she, he, he may give cause. Or all cows will be dire. <laughs> and my son, only son is Abhimanyu. 
and he will also die. So come on and give. She so die, I will not come. Never I will come. And especially to any young. But because you are telling so much lie against my character, I will not. Then he told, oh no. Yes, of course. All the Nitya you should tell her to come and give. Then Lenta Bishaka told that, oh, yes, see. Then he took some atta and dal and all other things. And he came out having a bell like this, like Indian ladies, especially new marriage lady. And he took a bell and like sitting. <coughs> Christmas ring like this. She told I, I don't want to take this. What this alma? Um, I want to take your anger. Please give your anger in my face. Then Srimati Radhika smiled and gave the whole atta doll on his head. <laughs> <laughs> And what at once ran to inside. Krishna told that I am satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> My everything has been successful now. <laughs> and gently can reach up. This is called Kant Bhav. A wife cannot do to his husband. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has only come to this very rare devotee's time to take it. It is not for general. Only I give a sprinkle Harikatha for this. So, Satyabhama Rukmini, I was telling that, that Harikatha. That Rukmini <coughs> fell down and Krishna then told, I am joking like, in Braja, joking like that, that I described. So, I thought that I am Braja and I am to go peace. But I have done wrong. You should understand that. I was only joking. You should go. You should wait. And he was telling that, Without you, I cannot have my life. I will also die. And he told, Oh, Rukmini, Oh, Rukmini, my beloved Yusuf. Then something from life began to come. And after some time, he saw that Krishna has taken him in his laps. Then he began to wait and told that what you have told, it is all clear. And it is true to extent. You are nirgun. I have so many gun of this worldly thing. You are nishkinchan. Only one thing, love for gopis. Not for any. And you are all works devotees. They don't want wealth, reputation, worldly things, even heaven, even Dwarka and all other things. They want to serve. So I am not qualified. All worldly persons want me, but I want only you. I want to serve your servants. I have come here to groom your rooms where your beloved wives are there. I have not come here like princess and your wife. I want to serve your all beloveds, wives all. Your servant I want to serve them. Don't leave, give up me. Otherwise I will die. Question to I never, never. I will, you are forever, you are my beloved. 
So, Rukmini Shattabhama also want to serve Krishna like gopis, but they cannot do. Uddhav went to Braja and he heard and saw how gopis are loving Krishna. But he had to return. Empty handed, empty heart. He could not be there. He could not serve like gopis. So Krishna here, Uddhav is telling that Krishna gave so much importance and affection to gopis. He had never given <coughs> to anyone more than Shatabhama Arupini, more than all kinds of gopis. He took, he gave his hand in the necks of all the gopis when he was dancing in Rashi. Why? He was begging them that he should not give up me. And that is why he was hanging in the yeah. Next up, all the gopis. Praying something like a boy prays her mother, like, mother gave me and like this. So he was begging. Affection, praying to gopis. So gopis are more fortunate than. Tasa mabe bhutu sauri, shmeman mukhambuja, pitambar dharva sagvi, saksha manna. Krishna is nirgun, where there are no devotees. Where are my body? Not my body, but Brahma again. He becomes nirgun, shapeless, tasteless, anythingless. But when he comes to Dasya Bhav, Bhakta, he becomes like Ramchandra, like <coughs> Lakshmi Pati. More than that, Rukmini Shatabhama, he becomes like husband. And more that, he becomes like friends to Subhadra Siddha. And when father and mother, Jasoda and Nanda are there, then he becomes a very orphan boy. He cannot take anything from his own hand. He cannot move, he cannot go. So Jasoda takes him. And he makes like this. And when he, with gopis, then he is Manmat. After Rash, in Rash, Krishna disappeared and out of that when he appeared, all gopis getting their bulls there and he sat on that. And at that time he was something ashamed that I had done wrong to gopis. And smiling a little also. So many things were in Krishna's appearance. And so many kinds of gopis are doing, di doing different modes to Krishna. Some taking his face in her laps, his hand in her laps. Some were kissing his hands. Some were chewing his battle uh, taking his battle nets, <coughs> chewing, and some for for defense. And they were with angry mood. <laughs> like arrow penetrating the heart of Krishna. <coughs> How you are a person? You don't want to uh, you don't know what is love and affection? Like this. And Krishna was taking all these forms. And he was pleased to this gopi was for difference, he was anger, in anger mood to Krishna. He cannot do all these things in Aram Lila or Ajutya or in Dwarka Nevar. So this mode of praying, Mahabhav, is superior to all and this is Antbhav. And this is Sarva Prem, Sarva, and this is the goal of all the love and 
today next off and in evening i will explain how about this we should not take to follow but we should have a very little read that find this great will come if this great comes by him all this you should see that your life is successful at least your goal is fixed and then from beginning shatta nishtha ruchi asakti prem sneh maan prane Yeah. 
For you. Today, this was made by Milachala's daughters. It is Milachala's Nirgun wife and his daughters. They have made. We are going to send this card for the Radha Raman temple as thanking them for having you and all of the devotees. And we are all going to sign, we make our signature inside of card here. Inside of card. Yes. So your signature will be in the middle and all of us will sign around. <laughs> We will give height half and half. Now what we have to do. Hey. Hi. Hi. Hey. Thank <laughs> you.